out there. Thank you. So Anita is at Glendale Saguaro Ranch Park checking out this weekend's winter antique tractor and engine show. And if I could go back to before the break, Anita, here's what I asked you. First of all, those glasses are totally bomb on you. You're, 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 you're like channeling Jackie O. You look great. Um, if, if you could the give me your phone. The more the face you cover, the better. Yeah, okay. If you could give me a phone, and I said to you, if you give me your phone, you can go on a cool vacation. I, I keep your phone for a week, you go on vacation for a week. I know you'd jump at that. You'd say yes, right? Yes, and I apologize. I didn't hear you can't hear very well. No, I know, and I so get with it. all the ambient noise I was having a tough time, I apologize. Wasn't ignoring you. I agree. Oh, no. Yes, and I've been trying to put the phone down more and more now than Good. ever before. So yeah, no problem. If why I'm not? on vacation, I don't need to be on my phone no. anyway. And why not jump on a tractor and put your phone down this weekend? Guess what? I did. Hello. <laughs> they have tractors my size. And they have tractors Dean's size. Hi, Dean. How are you? Well. Okay, so tell us all about this fantastic show taking place. Sure. This is the uh, 31st year we've done this show. We uh, do an antique tractor and engine show here at Saguaro Ranch. Frankly, it's the perfect setting because we've got all the, the, the fields left over from the history of Saguaro Ranch. We get a chance to educate everybody on all this uh, antique equipment, both engines and tractors. Yeah, you're literally digging into history, and the history is so rich. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think that's the thing that ties a lot of our club members together. We have uh, people that have uh, family history in this, that have uh, local history here in the valley uh, farming, and really from around different parts of the country. So you get a chance to talk with a lot of different members that have experience in all sorts of different kinds of food production. So, Which is so important now more than ever. Absolutely. I think so many people realized that during the pandemic. They even, you know, uh, tried growing their own yeah, at some point, which is what you guys do on such a large, larger, larger scale. How important are these tractors to what you do? Well, I, I think these are important to us also because of a lot of us have the family history. So in addition to the agricultural history, you know, this one, uh, this is Jason's grandpa's tractor. Wow. My dad restored this one. Uh, and th those stories are common through all of our members. It'll and then either... you have grandpa, great grandpa riding the tractor with his grandson on his knee. And then the grandson's going to ride it with his son on his knee. Uh, absolutely. And so it's yeah. pretty incredible. Yeah. So when can people come out? When should they come out? Nine to four. Nine... This, this year, we're, of course, reduced uh, as yeah. you know, we're making sure that we're following all protocols and making sure that our guests are safe. Yeah. So it's just Saturday this year. We usually were doing two day shows. And nine to four, and in, in exchange for the kind of condensed scope, free admission. Free admi Oh, wow, free admission. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dean. Mm -hmm. We're going to be back at 9.55. I'm going to try to get some exercise in, uh, roll the tractor around. I remember riding the tractor. My dad had a silver uh, mower. And I loved sitting on the back, which probably wasn't really safe, but it was fun. And I loved sitting on the back of it while he mowed the, the lawn in our backyard. Yeah. And um, I probably probably learned how to drive on that tractor, you know, because mm. when you're five and you're driving the tractor. And that's how you, I learned how to drive a stick shift. It was a lawn, a tractor lawnmower. Same exact yeah. thing. So it had a clutch, it had some a foot good, clutch. Some yeah. good memories and some good, good history. Yeah. <laughs> And she's just talking while she's riding around a little five-year-old tractor. I would have I, loved I'm that. I'm doing thing okay. Yeah, that's not bad. You get a decent amount of speed. Welcome back. Anita Roman is live this morning, and she hopped on the Big Daddy. Yes, the big tractor. Take it away, Anita. Holy cow, this is no easy task. My goodness gracious. So much respect for the men and women who drive these for a living. I'm going to put this baby in park or s right so i have the clutch i have the brakes i'm pushing them both down right we're good okay we're good we're gonna go talk to dean we couldn't get dean on here fast enough so we could do a driving live shot but we are in glendale literally digging into history here tractors go back so many generations dean what do we have here so this is the engine display the other part of our club and uh the uh these engines were started and the development of these engines was really to replace a lot of human labor. Oh. And I think that's the missing piece. Someone would look at this and say, okay, I see wheels, I hear popping. But if you look at what Tom's got going over here, uh -huh. this is corn that would have been taken out of the field. 
feet into this machine and it is literally stripping the ears off of this. This would have been something before the engine was developed would have been done by hand. By hand, yeah. which next, would have taken so much more time. Absolutely. Next step over here is to take it from those kernels. Everybody knows the can that you get in the corn, but what this does then is grinds it down into the corn meal. And this is for human consumption. So basically the farm family is taking what they're growing shelling it, taking the kernels off of the ear, and then grinding it wow. to make for So when meal. was that uh, machine made then? Say again? When was that made right this there? This would be right after the turn of the century. Holy cow. Yeah. Because this one right here, I think it said 1917, right? Yeah. And that's really what's common with these. A lot of this is turn of the century up until almost the Depression is when you'll see a lot of this. By wow. then, a lot of the rural farms were getting electricity and that would have taken the place for this. How much has changed just in the past decade when it comes to farming and the tractors oh, and all this? Well, thing? now the operator is an option. You've got, uh, within modern farming, you've got GPS, you've got automation. Uh, there are uh, members of my family back in the Midwest that they can watch movies while they're out. Uh, wow, out is that field. better or worse though? You know, I think, yeah. I gotta admit, I grew up on a farm and, yeah. and it takes away the fun factor. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, Dean, really quick as we're wrapping up, when and where and how can everyone enjoy all this history? This is incredible. Yeah, uh, tomorrow, 9 to 4. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we're in the midst of setup today. Yeah. 9 to 4 here in Glendale, right off 59th Avenue, Saguaro Ranch Park. And there are multiple ways to get here and to get in here, but the thing that is in common this year, it's free. It's free, you yep. guys. Thank you, Dean, so you much. Thank you. You can bring the family down and you can come enjoy. I think the kids will really get some history. Can I feed a little corn in there? Can I do one? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? I'm learning so much today. There you go. Ooh, watch Troy, your fingers. Come on down this weekend. Sure, sure. How cool is that? Yeah, totally. <gasps> wow. I'm going to. I'm going to hang easy. out on my trusty little mini John Deere. Yeah, that's probably a safe to bet. <laughs> Enjoy the beautiful there you day. Go. Oh, Nobody gets hurt on the mini go. John Deere. <laughs> I'm not. That's a little I'm not workout. Sure which one I like better, the little one or the big one? Yeah, crank that thing up, Anita. How fast can you get that going? Let's yeah, see. you can do it, girl. Here you go. Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the places what I'm you'll about. go. <laughs> That's the way to end the week right there. This is Have the a great weekend, everyone. <laughs>